In the misty French Alps this morning, the search for answers goes on amid fresh snow and rain. Helicopters in action since daybreak looking for debris and bodies and clues as to why the Airbus went into its deadly eight-minute dive. The nearby ravines have already yielded the cockpit voice recorder, damaged but vital, and other substantial pieces of wreckage. According to the information received, the black box was damaged, but it will be possible to put it back together in order to be able to make use of it and to determine the conditions surrounding this drama. Bereaved families are expected to arrive later to see for themselves the bleak place where this happened. The French, German and Spanish leaders are coming too. At the rescue centre, officials know they face a very challenging task. It's quite difficult to take the bodies and that's why the, uh, the operation uh, will be uh, uh, done by aircraft only. You know, by foot it's very difficult to go there. One of the victims, Marina Bandres, lived in Manchester. She was returning from Spain where she attended the funeral of a relative. Australian Carol Friday was travelling with her son Greg, enjoying a few weeks together before he took up a job teaching English. And two opera singers, Oleg Briak and Maria Radner, were singing in Barcelona until Monday. Miss Radner's husband and baby were both on board. It'll take time to bring the dead and the wreckage down from the mountain. Families in at least a dozen countries now grieving and waiting to find out just how this tragedy occurred. Paul Adams, BBC News.